Now, 27 storm track weather with meteorologist Blaze Keller. Another beautiful day in the forecast as the last of the fog burns off just north and east of Portage. Begin to see some afternoon cumulus clouds there beginning to develop. Typically, what we see as we go further into uh, your day is kind of those afternoon clouds beginning to develop. Not expecting any rain showers out of them. And you can see back to our north and west, not a whole lot of anything going on either. So we're going to continue to sit underneath quiet conditions, not only for the rest of your Thursday, but Friday as well. And you'll see once we start to increase those dew points, our rain chances start to increase as well. It's 62 in Wausau, 68 in Madison into Cedar Rapids and Des Moines and parts of Illinois. They're breaking into those low 70s back to our west mid 70s towards Lincoln. Closer to home, it's 70 in Boscobel. Finally fixed the sensor there in Mineral Point, 68 for us and 70 in Janesville. Winds are going to continue to be out of the northwest over the course of the day and they're going to be light. So it's going to keep us very comfortable out there. As we make our way closer to the weekend, maybe peaking into the mid afternoon, five to 10 miles per hour, calming down though overnight. We really want those winds to pick up. Going into the previous break, I showed you that list of closed beaches. We need some wind to kind of move around some of that stagnant water to break up some of that blue green algae. What we don't necessarily need in terms of getting the blue green algae is rain. But as we increase our dew points going into the weekend, we are going to watch as our chance for rain continues not only Saturday and Sunday, but into your Monday and Tuesday as well. The only reason why I say we don't want the rain in terms of the blue green algae is because that runoff will go into the water and then that will feed some of that algae. So it's kind of a double edged sword. You want the rain because we do continue to see dry conditions. We just don't want those beaches to be closed because of that algae. But the good news is when we do see the rain chances return, they're not going to be severe. Quiet today and quiet into your Friday, Saturday. You can see all of Wisconsin you could see a thunderstorm or two, and it's going to stay below that severe thunderstorm threshold. So let's walk through future track for the rest of your Thursday. Again, uh, clouds here and there, just kind of a partly sunny day. A nice one to be outside if you can be overnight. Open up those windows because it is going to be a quiet night out there. Maybe seen some fog redevelop Friday morning. It is going to be a sunny Friday. Winds are going to be turning out of the south, though, and that's why we are going to warm on up going into your Saturday. Not much in the way of change in southern Wisconsin. The biggest changes across northwestern parts of Wisconsin, where they now see severe drought conditions. Overall, though, the state is about 4% covered in severe drought conditions. So we do need the rain, and it is coming. Low 70s today. Here's a look at your planner through the rest of your Thursday. Light northwesterly winds, partly sunny skies, and there's a look at your seven day forecast. A chance for some showers and thunderstorms, I would say Sunday and Monday, then again on Tuesday and uh, Wednesday too. They're going to be very kind of isolated to scatter. No big washout events, unfortunately, but overall, Saturday's looking really nice. Yeah. Upper 80s, low 90s. It's been a while since we've been in uh, some of that heat. Yeah, summer is certainly not giving up no. on us. No, 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 no. Yeah. So got the grip. All right, <laughs> please. Thank you.